we did it, boys. We actually made America great again. I feel so fucking good. Shit. Oh, man. Four years of being gaslit by the media, uh, the government, and a bunch of leftists. You want some examples? I'll give you some because you guys seem so fucking confused why you lost. Uh, one of the first things that we kind of ask you guys stop doing is uh, sexualizing children, having men in dresses read to them. First of all, you called us Nazis for calling it out and then said it's not happening. And then it turns out it was happening and you said it's actually a good thing. Same thing with the racism in schools too. You guys dividing kids on race, giving people, showing kids uh, worksheets that said white people are the devil, giving out uh, whiteness contracts. And this is a bad deal. It always was. Dude, we can see your pointy tail. What does that mean? What? Turn. Go to the next page. It says, contract, binding you to whiteness. You'll get stolen land, stolen riches, special favors. You, you guys also were uh, just so outgoing in giving illegals everything, giving them amnesty, giving them credit cards, food, while you could not afford gas because the retarded office signed a bill uh, cutting off the Keystone Pipeline. And I love seeing people, oh my God, enjoy your cheap fucking gas. I will. I fucking will. <laughs> now, uh, it is just so beautiful to see people not learn from their mistakes. Kamala Harris has done absolutely nothing in the entirety of her vice presidency. She basically dodged every single question during the debates. She she filibustered. She just filibustered throughout the entire campaign. She did not care. I feel like she didn't want to win at all. And the whole media had a proper up like she was the best thing that ever goddamn happened to this country. Uh, and today... People found out leftists, and I think that's why they're also really upset, is that having a fucking vagina and also being brown at the same time is not good enough to rule over 330 million people. So, <laughs> sorry, not sorry, get over it. And the absolute meltdowns are people having, to be honest, I think some of them aren't real. Some of them aren't. They're clearly jokes. I can't believe Trump's actually going to win this fucking thing. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm so pissed off. Fuck, 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 God damn it. But there are some of them that are so deranged that it's really hard to explain. I will go through it and react to some of them, but it, it, it is just so hilarious that we are also having grown ass people like celebrities coming in and fucking crying and saying that they need to take more medication because there's a new president in office. These guys are so unhinged and deranged it is really sad this also exposes a really big cultural shift is that we don't care about celebrities anymore we, we just don't care 2016 it didn't work because trump won 2020 uh, i believe it was just covid because we had absolutely nothing to do uh joe biden didn't even campaign he did everything from the basement and uh, now 2024 Nobody cared. You could get the entire cast of the Avengers, movies that made money like five years ago. Hi, you guys. Hi, Avengers. Hi, hey, hey, Scarlett. Jumping on the call. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think you mean assembling. <laughs> I wow. said assembling. Don, that's pretty good. No, they thought it was funny. No one gave a shit. Everyone cringed simultaneously. And that shows everybody we don't care. Shame us as much as you want. Just like what Zuby said. The Nazi card expired three years ago. Call us whatever you want. I've been hearing people calling us fascists, Nazis. I don't care. And now people are coming out and getting so upset because Trump won. He uh, won the Electoral College, won the popular vote, and won every single uh, swing state. So it was an official landslide. And now people who have been for the past like few years, oh, we need to protect black women, protect black men, protect Hispanics, protect indigenous people. A lot of them voted for Trump. A hell of a lot of them voted for Trump. I was one of them. And that made them so upset because in their brain they're just like no 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 they're, they they have to vote for kamala they they have to because they're brown she's brown they, they have to do it why why do you think that people are just completely obligated to do it 
Why? Because you're a fucking loser that would do some shit like that. Some punk ass shit. Vote for someone because of skin color or other people be mad at you. No, we, we don't care. We, we just uh, people just went to a ballot box and said, fuck you. But uh, Donald Trump and it's absolutely hilarious. It is absolutely it's amazing. We don't care. Cry harder because we are all taking these clips and we're putting them together and we're all laughing at you. <laughs> That one lady that has no from 2016. Now we have hundreds, if not thousands of narcissists, people who could not control their emotions. And I know a lot of these people, uh, they're probably not as upset as they are in the video. They're just doing it for TikTok clout. They just want attention. They just want to look retarded. And I don't know why you want that, but it's still funny nonetheless. And now... We have gotten to a point where I wouldn't say women. I would just say feminist. That's also synonymous uh, with the word retarded at this point. Uh, they have gotten to the point where they have completely <laughs> said that they're not going to have sex with men if they can't kill their child. That, that we've gotten to that point. They, they said they're not going to go out. They're not going to sleep with men. They're, they're going to abstain from sex for the entire uh, election cycle so they won't get pregnant. You know, the conservative men or a lot of them that voted for Trump, uh, that's what they wanted. Honestly, that's what most men want. They don't want some loose fucking woman coming around, giving their hole that everyone nutted in. No, nobody, no guy really wants that. A lot of losers do. A lot of they would get anything ass is ass to a lot of guys, but a lot of men that respect themselves and want to get a woman that's also respectable. They're not going to do that. So it literally took Donald Trump to take these women to close their legs, turn them right back to the factory settings. It is absolutely hilarious to see these people do it. They, they're they just, they're that goddamn stupid. Now, I already said this on my Instagram where Trump won because I saw the white leftists on my Facebook and everywhere apologizing that Trump won. Please, again, I'm going to say it again with from the bottom of my heart. Shut the fuck up. Just shut up. Nobody was asking for your approval. No one wanted your apology. No one gave a shit. I don't know why you think you imbue so much power or so much uh, resilience that it was your fault that Trump won. No, no, no. It was due to people who actually listened and paid attention to politics and uh, the economy and what was going on. Try to seek through all the media's lies. You didn't do anything. All you did is just fucking gaslight people and thought you could just shame other people into coming onto your side. But like I said earlier, you're a loser just like that. But you think everyone else operates in that way. But no. No, we're not like that. We basically said, no, nah, I'm going to vote my self-interest. And a lot of these people, they would just come out and say, I voted for, for women, for brown people, for black men. So you voted in other people's self-interest. And some of them are just such geniuses that they claim that they also voted for people that don't even live in the country or should even live in the country, like illegals and uh, people in like Gaza and shit like that. It says a lot about these people. It says a lot that they're just so self-righteous that like I did it for other people because I am a good person. No, you're not. No, you're no, you're not, <laughs> dude. And I kind of want to react to a couple of these. I know a lot of you guys already seen people screaming and flipping the fuck out, but there's some of them want to go through like this woman right here. Uh, automatically not attract. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys are going to call me an asshole for saying it, but I, I'm just saying, I, I'm just calling how it is. Now, wh what is this broad saying? I say we pass a law that requires anyone who voted for that orange piece of shit to wear their Trump hat 24-7. Uh, there are some people already doing it. Uh, black conservative perspective, ever since Trump won, he's been wearing it in almost every single video. And a lot of Trump supporters, like my father-in-law, uh, every time I walk into the house, this dude is wearing it all the time. So no one needs your permission. Because conservatives are dangerous for anyone who isn't white, Christian, or male completely dangerous 
like dynamite waiting to go off in your hand. So I think we should all get a public service warning. Don't you? What? I, I, I don't know. But she looks like the type of person that constantly wears, wore, she probably wore a mask up until like up 2023. She looks like the type of person she kind of really does need it, honestly. But let's keep going, boys. The assault continues. Also, what I was talking about, the women abstaining, it's called the 4B movement, and it comes from Korea. Because I was confused. I was like, what the hell does the, the, the B stands for? But it's the four no's. It's saying that they won't have uh, the abstaining from sex, uh, having children, or dating men. Or there was another one. They refuse to date, get married, uh, have sex or even have children. So those are the four no's. So they just won't interact with men. And it's like, Baskeu. Oh, so the left likes cultural appropriating other things now. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. But <laughs> no, what is that? Bas Baskeu? Ba Basholen? Bayane? Ba Bohan? I, I am sorry, Koreans, my Korean viewers. It's probably zero of you guys. But uh, I apologize for doing that because that made me cringe. Holy shit. But yeah, let's listen to some of these broads uh, uh, get really upset because they can't. They, well, I'm pretty sure if they were smart enough, they could just Google uh, their, their website for their state and it could go and kill their child but they're just so upset that everyone the, the, I'm pretty sure these women are like in New York and all these blue cities and they're upset that women in Texas I, you already know the whole thing but yeah let's just listen to these broad the first question the first question I'm asking everybody in my life from this moment forward who did you vote for Trump if I get anything aside from Kamala my face i am done um not gonna lie she is pretty as hell i will pretty nice looking but i am married but nice nice aesthetic that's the aesthetic i like <laughs> but th these are the people that I i've been seeing this all over facebook they can't deal with someone else not voting for their shitty candidate and they they have to block in go somewhere else and have a mental health day these oh my god you can't engage with someone else this is how they create the cult they have become so comfortable being irrational people for the last four years that they think that stuff like this is just normal these people are weird no one wants to really interact with you but nice <laughs> Donald Trump is president and I think all women should stop having sex for the next four years in protest and protection of your bodies as we know if that little baby inside you gives you any trouble and you need an emergency health care you're fucked and you're gonna die I I just love it. It's just they think every single pregnancy has complications and that the one and only thing you always have to do is just kill it immediately. Do these women know that uh, IUDs exist? Does anyone know about this technology? Because it is one of the greatest inventions ever made. You could bust as many nuts. I can tell you eight years straight, not a single scare. And that's probably telling a little bit too much, but do these, why does it always automatically go to abortion every single time? Why? There are so many things. There are condoms. There are sponges. Do people still use sponges? Um, that IUDs, uh, plan B, plan B is not really good for you because it's hormonal, but IUDs or diversion that my wife has isn't hormonal. I don't want to get too much into it, but yeah, bro, 99%, uh, uh, effectiveness that's the word i'm looking for but yeah but what else is she saying we're halfway through i think that is sufficient enough reason to stop having sex don't and that's all throughout human history yeah that's that's usually because you don't want to get pregnant so you kind of want to shack up with someone you really love and care about and that's why people got married very young and then had a lot of kids yet you shouldn't be going around sleeping with numerous people yeah guys really don't like that ladies maybe the guys in college do honestly guys they want to get as much ass as possible but they really want to settle down with one person we'll keep going 
All I have oh, to oh, say oh, is oh, good oh. luck getting laid. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Don't you agree? Ah, uh, damn it. This vote, unless I was very blindsided. Not gonna lie. Also, nice. And you're gonna be like, Cedric, you're gonna just say nice to all the white women? Let's keep going. By the results this morning, um, I've decided that cigarettes don't count today, and I honestly might go get a tattoo. But I. Tattoos on women. One of my favorite things. I love all my wife's tattoos, all of them. They, they, they just. Uh, okay, I'll keep going. I, I gotta stop. <laughs> I gotta stop. But honestly, her her shaky crying voice is annoying the hell out of me. So I'm just gonna go to the last one. All I have to. Say also, funny enough, I believe if I'm correct. Also, nice. Um, <laughs> that also, I believe this is the same exact woman. Like a year or two ago, she went super viral because she was really depressed because she had to constantly keep working and she didn't have time to spend with fa uh, family, boyfriends, and 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 other people. She just had to go to work at home, work at home, work at home, and it made her super depressed. And now, listen to one of her uh, newer videos say is good luck getting laid <laughs> um especially in florida because me and my girlies are participating in the 4b movement that's my next plan and i'm dead fucking serious oh, okay is you think you and your little friend group are the entire population of florida which is also red so uh, and plus a lot of the guys that you're talking to are most likely already married like myself and we don't really give a shit, honestly. <laughs> like, you guys could go off and do this thing. And I'm pretty sure these are the type of women that go out and do these, like, ho nights. They sleep with as many guys as they can. as And they just basically did as much degeneracy as they could in college. And that, that's the only thing that's emanating from this. That's the only thing I'm understanding. This crazy broad goes and shaves her head off here because Trump won. Cutting off hair. Why? To cut it what? What is? Down, what does this prove? This is it makes you look insane. Is what is? Here. Maybe I gotta cut it. Here we go. I given up on America. Yes. Also given up on coloring this hair because right. But color and you're doing an awful job. What the? Coloring my hair. Long. What? What are you? Scissors. My hair. Cutting it all off. Probably painting a a target on my back here, but whatever. At least I live in a state right now that has a of our rights still. And we voted out Brandon Williams. Fuck that guy. Back to Texas. From whence he came. We also voted yes on Prop 1, which will codify into law some equal right protections in the New York State Constitution. So we did that at least. I don't know what the other fuckers are doing. But I don't know, man. We are embarrassing on the world stage. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Seriously? What, what is happening? I've never had short hair before. Ever. It's kind of fun. All right. We're just going to keep chopping away here because Stop having sex with men. Stop talking to men. Divorce your husband. Is she looking ugly on purpose so people won't touch her? Holy shit. Just open your mouth and people will stop talking to you. Oh, my God. Oh, and, and like I said earlier, people... Uh, oh, I haven't even gotten to this point. People have not learned a lesson. People didn't go and say, Oh, we the bad days. They, they just gone out and just said, Kamala didn't lose because she's a terrible candidate. She lost because men are sexist, men are racist, uh, white women are really dumb whores. Let, let's listen. Let's listen to like the uh, the dry coochies on the View. Let's look at their amazing insight. And, and finally, we talk a lot about these different demographics and these assumptions of where they're going to go. Latinos in Texas, a, dis, a district that's 97% Latino, went 75 percentage points for Donald Trump. Why? Misogyny. It's on the, no, that's it's why. on the border. It's the misogyny. border crisis is on their doorstep. So, so and they were begging. They can't use rationality at all. She, this, uh, she's the supposed conservative, not really. She's supposed to be the conservative on the view, but now she's the voice of reason because all these, they're all retarded, honestly. But now is after Trump wins, she's kind of like, Hey guys, um, you might've been a little wrong, but they, they, they have to, for some reason, their brain, they cannot deviate from. It's not me as everyone else. It is the most, childish oh my god it is just so goddamn stupid what well, i kind of want to finish with you taking people to care about it for years we need to sexism. take some lessons that's what that was the lessons are not knock misogyny. knock who's there oh my gosh it's whoopi <laughs> oh my 
God, I hope their show gets canceled. I it's who's watching this? Are, are there housewives really out there watching this garbage? But man, uh, it is just one of those things where they they will never learn. They are just so arrogant and just so mean spirited, dude. What is this? Oh my God! The... Now, for yourself, call your friends, check on them. And get ready, oh. because uh, we're in for one hell of a ride with him at the helm. And uh, no immunity guardrails. Oh, boo-hoo. Okay. No. Okay. God bless America, people. That's all I can say. We're going to need it. Oh, my. I'm not listening to that for three minutes. Jesus. Uh, and look, look, at, look at this. This, this is... Full retardation. Oh, my God. The Taylor Swift shirt really put the icing on the cake. Let's go. TV. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Really? Yes. Yeah. Fuck that Can TV and it? fuck that asshole. Do it. I'll buy it. <laughs> okay, maybe not that fucking hard. Okay, well, 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 Oh, man. These are the stupid white women that go out into the forest. Oh, no. These are the stupid white women that go out and uh, go to those dinners when they pay hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to be told racist. And they go out in the middle of the woods and scream. These are the exact. They, they, uh, they have a very, very sad future because there are people who are out here. I'm done crying. The grown ass men crying. You are the most sad, empathetic people on top uh, you are the worst oh man was it jimmy kimmel was about to break down in tears because he uh we're, we're gonna most likely gonna stop bombing people in ukraine and in russia let's be honest it was a terrible night last night it was a terrible night for women for children for the hundreds of thousands of of hard-working immigrants who make this country go um <laughs> for health care for our climate for science for journalism, for justice, for free speech. It was a terrible night for poor people, for the middle class, for seniors who rely on Social Security, for our allies in Ukraine, for NATO, for the truth, and democracy and decency. And it was a terrible night for everyone who voted against him. And guess what? It was a bad night for everyone who voted for him, too. You just don't realize it yet. But what is it? The assistant director of fraternity and sorority life at uh oregon tells trump supporters to delete themselves let's go let's go tell me tell me what my sadness is over my anger has set in um i also guys uh i i never i never cared about this piercing was it a little bull ring a lot of, i didn't some women it's like okay it looks okay on you on the side I, I like that, especially on women. It looks pretty nice when you have it on the side. My wife has one of those. But let's get actually, you know what's funny enough? That is actually one of her nose rings. All right, let me just stop getting distracted. Let's go. I am a very petty person, and course, I am yes. very proud of that. Love it about myself, actually. And so. That is not a good trait. That is, I'm a very petty person. Wow, that's just basically saying I'm a self absorbed asshole. Let's keep going. I say this in the most disrespectful way possible. I don't care if you are my family. I don't care if you're my friend. I'm not. I don't care if we've been friends our entire lives. You can literally go fuck yourself if you voted for Donald Trump. Don't need to do that. I'm married. Donald Trump. If you are so sad about your groceries being expensive, get a oh, better yeah. fucking paying job. Do better in life. Get a fucking education. Do something. Because you are fucking stupid. And... I hope you go jump off of a fucking bridge. Well, let me guess. This guy's probably on antidepressants. He's telling us to go kill ourselves. Not, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. These people are just insane. And this woman getting kicked off of a flight because she thinks she could just chastise people for voting for Trump on an airplane. Got her and her bitch ass husband kicked off. The husband's sitting there. Oh, Cindy, please don't do stuff like this. Oh, man. Hilarious. Oh, she has had enough. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I think that I think that is it, guys. I, ooh, it's been a crazy 
48 hours, my dudes. And we won this, and we all deserve to celebrate. It was a great landslide. We did all, all went out and did our part. Getting Trump in office, his entire cabinet is going to be uh, an entire eclectic group of different people, and everyone who also voted for him were a big eclectic group. It wasn't just all Trump supporters. It was people who went in, did the research, understood what they wanted out of this administration and voted for it. We didn't go in and try to look for uh, characteristics and these empty platitudes and trying to help people who have absolutely no bearing on our lives other than taking tax money away from us. We went in and actually had faith in the system. And now Trump is going to be back in office and it's going to be a wild four years. But we got to sit down and pay attention Hold Trump accountable for the things that he did promise. On top of that, try to keep going until we get Vance in there for 2028 or 2029 at that point. God, that is so far. I turned 28 in on Thanksgiving Day. Three weeks from today. God damn, dude. Three weeks. I turned 28. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, that's going to be all from me right now. And hope you guys have a good one. Peace.